So this is a Huawei um, Honor 3X phone here, and you want to move your files from your internal memory onto your SD card, uh, regardless if it's a video file or photo or music file or documents or, or whatnot. So I'm going to show you how to do it. What you have to do is, first you have to click on this file manager here. Now the first time you click on that, it's going to ask you to accept something, uh, but do with, something to do with the internet connection. I'm not sure why that's on there, but just go ahead and accept it. Once you accept it, then you'll see you can have the Huawei, uh, Huawei Cloud or the local. Make sure local is clicked on. And here's your internal and here's your SD card. Your SD card is pretty much it's, it's considered your, ex, uh, your external memory card. And then you have the internal, which is your device is uh, um, memory. So basically what you want to do is like, for example, like, like let's go ahead and transfer some files. I have some pictures here. And look for pictures, of course, you would want to go under DCIM. If you have music, you know, you, you may want to look under your music file. You get a movies file. Uh, just look, look through this exactly where there's actually a pictures file as well here. And then, uh, anyways, I'm going to move some pictures, so I'm going to go under DCIM. And here's my camera. And now what you can do here is... If you look on the bottom here, you can see that there's a copy or there's a cut. A cut is basically a move, okay? So a copy is a copy. It's basically you're making a copy to your SD card. What I would do is I would recommend to make a copy. Oops. I'm not sure what I did. But I would make a copy. I would click on that. And then what you want to do is you want to select the ones that you want to transfer. Now, now the reason why I would say I would make a copy is because you want to copy it um, from your internal memory onto your SD card. Now, the thing is, like sometimes, like it gets corrupted. If, if you move it directly, if you do like a cut, it, you move it directly onto your SD card. The thing, the thing is, a lot of times your SD card gets corrupted for some reason, and the pictures are like blank, or the video won't play. So you want to make sure all the pictures and everything are in there first. You know, you can pretty much see if the thumbnail, if there's a picture on the thumbnail, then it's pretty much good to go. But if the, if the thumbnail, regardless if it's a music file or a photograph or a video or whatnot, if it's black, it's pretty much corrupted. So in any event, so I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'll just copy these four. If you want to select them all, you can just select the all button up here. It says all. Then I'll just put copy. And now I have to paste it somewhere. Now what I do is I want to go back. So I would click on this. You see it's on my internal memory, DCM-camera. Click this back down, and I'll go back to local. Then I'll click on my SD card. And then where do I want to put it? You can put it anywhere you want here. I'll just go back under DCIM, camera, and I'll just paste it in here. And then from here, make sure that, uh, again, you're able to see the uh, pictures and whatnot. The, uh, the actual thumbnail. If it's black, it means it's corrupted. I know it happens a lot on the Galaxy S4, uh, the Galaxy S3, depending on the memory card, especially if you're using a memory card that's not like Samsung. If I use like a scan disk, I've two, two or three times it got like corrupted. I had like long, like 10, 15 minute videos, you know, of some like MMA, uh, MMA fights, like, like um, you know, like really good seats and it just got, the whole thing got corrupted. But anyways, if you guys have questions, uh, just comment in the bottom, any subs. And likes would be great too. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.